Hey everybody, happy Saturday to you. If you are first time viewer, my name is Gina and I am an online e-commerce reseller who sells mainly on eBay, but also on Facebook Marketplace, uh, Poshmark and Macari. And I left out Etsy because I am no longer selling on Etsy. I may again in the future, but as of right now, I am not. I also have a booth at a local antique mall and that's where I place things that I don't want to ship or things that I just feel will do better in an on in-person type of setting. And that's a little bit about me. And I want to let you know right now, I apologize for the wet hair. I wish I could say I just got out of the shower, but I just got back from a, uh, um, Oh my gosh, my brain's fried from an auction and it is almost a hundred degrees today. So I'm exhausted <laughs> and hot and I've got the fan going. I've got the AC going. I'm just trying to cool off right now. I'm drinking my Sonic Route 44. I'm doing everything to try to cool off. So hopefully that will happen soon. Um, a little bit about my day today. I always try to start off explaining, you know, especially on my Saturday lives, what I've done today. I already mentioned that I went to an auction. I went to a few garage sales first thing this morning. Uh, there were not very many garage sales in my small town. I am in South Central Kansas. Uh, there were not very many. Mainly, I think people don't do them here in the summer because of the heat. It is brutal with heat and the humidity and people just don't want to do it. And I can't blame them. I wouldn't want to be out there all day long either. But I did stop, uh, I think, at one, two, three garage sales, I believe. Didn't pick up very much, but I will show you later what I did pick up. And then the auction I wasn't actually going to go to because they don't have air conditioning in this auction house. And I happen to be next door because the antique mall that I have a booth at is right next door to the auction house. And I had gone in there just to chit chat with the owners and uh, check out my booth. And I thought, what the heck, I'll go over and see how everything's going. And I ended up staying for about three, three and a half hours. It was still going on and it just, it's seven o'clock now. It, if it's done, if that auction is finished by now, I'd be surprised. But if it, if it is finished, it has just gotten finished. There was so much stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh, so much stuff. But, um, and a lot of it went for really high prices. There was a lot of family there. And, uh, yeah, a lot of stuff was out, out of my league price-wise. But I did manage to pick up a few things. And again, I will show you those things. Um, if you're wondering about the title, the Squish Mallow Conundrum, of this video, the title of this video. I didn't finish my sentence. I will get into that in a little bit. But uh, yeah, I'm going to need you guys' help on that. <laughs> um, I guess I can get started on a couple of the things that I picked up at yard sales, garage sales, tag sales, whatever you guys call them. Here we call them garage sales or yard sales. Um, but I used to live in, on the East coast and I know they were tag sales there. So whatever you want to call them, I'll show you the first thing that I picked up, have not researched it. I figured for the $1 that I spent on it, I was good to go. Even if I have to put it in my, uh, antique booth, but it is a Franklin, which I know is probably not the best brand, but it's in really good shape. Franklin glove, youth glove. And it's, there's just, I don't think anybody used it. They really don't. There's like no wear on it whatsoever. Anyhow, it is a nine inch. So it's a small one, but it's cute. Pretty blue. You know, I'm a, I'm a girl. I gotta say pretty blue. Almost teal. It's real pretty, but yeah, there's, there's like no wear on this thing. So we'll go ahead and get started by looking that up. 
and I will share my screen. Oh, before I forget, I want to post this is a link to this stream. If you would like to join me, you are more than happy to do so. All right, so let me get my screen shared. Boy, guys, I am really tired. Sorry. There we go. And, ooh, don't need to do that. Doesn't need to be that small. There we go. All right. Well, let's just look this up and see if we made any or if we can make any money on it. It is a Franklin 24950. Yeah, not very much. Okay. So it sold for $6. I only spent a dollar on it, so that's all right. That's a sold. Let's see how many there are that are not yet sold. None. There's a girls listed for $14.99. Hmm. Since there doesn't appear to be any like it, for sale in the blue at least I think I will ask for a little bit more than what they sold was uh, the sold was sold for I do believe so I'm just copying this for a place marker basically I will change the title up and come in here to create listing Start listing. Get, while we're doing this, I'll also let you guys know that I no longer am utilizing List Perfectly at all. In fact, I deleted all of my listings from List Perfectly today. Again, it's not an issue with List Perfectly. It is an issue. That is not what I pasted. It is not an issue with List Perfectly. It is an issue with my. Why will not why will this not let me edit? It is an issue with my internet service not list perfectly. Um can't do anything. Wow. Okay. Well we'll just start again. You guys are yeah, my screen doesn't want to do anything. There we go. Oh and it's showing that it says Franklin Baseball Glove. Well, that's not what it was showing on my screen. So let's see. Now it's coming up correctly. All right. All right. Franklin, and I don't believe it is a baseball glove. I believe it is T-ball. So I'm going to change that. And 24950-9 inches. 24950-9 inches. Inferno. Yes. Blue, black, I don't want to put mint because that's just, you know, it's not mint, but it's darn close. So very excellent use condition. We'll do that. I don't use EUC very often, but I'm going to on this one. I mean, because some people don't know what EUC is. So, for those of you who don't know, it's excellent used condition. I paid $1 at a garage sale on 6, what is today? The 19th, 2021. All right. Gloves and mitts. And we're going to do toys and games. And I don't think I have any other category I want to use that for. So we'll just do that. And pre-owned excellent used condition with very few marks or signs of wear. 
may not have ever been used. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to do the photographs later because that's boring for you guys. And I have my back to the screen when I, or to the camera when I do that. And that's not fair to you guys. So I will just take some photos later. And it is a nine inch. Okay. And it goes on your left hand. So it is a right handed thrower. Right handed thrower. I'm just looking it over. Make sure I'm not lying about the condition. And I am not. It is in excellent condition. <laughs> All right. Unisex kids. Five finger. Yes, it is. Imagine that. All right. Paste that. Excellent used condition with very few marks, if any, or signs of wear. Right handed thrower. Nine inches in size. Good enough. All right. I'm, I think that I saw that pink one was listed for $14.99. So I'm going to go with $14.99 because I have a sale going right now and that'll lower it down to $12.49. So, and we'll weigh it out here. It weighs a little over seven ounces. So I believe that I can ship it in a poly for under a pound. So we will change it to first class. We will boost it at 3%, 45 cents. And save as draft. And we've got one done. One and done. All right. Find a place for it. I've kind of got stuff everywhere today. All right. This is an interesting piece that I got at a garage sale today. Well, I think it's interesting. It may not be. So let me bring the screen back up so you can see it a little bit better. Okay. This is what I'm assuming is a bottle opener. I mean, that's what it looks like, right? The guy told me it was a top. It's not a top as far as I'm concerned, but he said it was something to do with the drinking game. It's all in German. So, or I'm assuming it, yeah, it's got to be German. First word on there is mit. Um, so I'm going to research it really quick. Nobody's in here at the moment. So if someone comes in and I'm ignoring you, sit, put something in chat so that I know you're here because I'm just going to kind of do some research for a bit here. In fact, I'll go ahead and share the screen so you can see how I do my research. We'll start with the name brand here, if I can read it. Oh my gosh, my eyes. Okay. W-A-C-F. That might be S, that is. Warsteiner. Oh, well, it popped right up there. Okay. Walksteiner. Okay. Warsteiner. Bottle opener. Yep, that's ex ooh, that's exactly what it is right there. So there are a few for sale. Varying prices. There are actually quite a few for sale. 
58 approximately. Let's look at solds and see what that says. Okay. Yep. 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 Okay. So seven dollars. Thirteen dollars. All right. Good to know. Why is it every one of these I want to copy is on all caps? There we go. There's one that's not. Again, I don't steal the titles. I just put them in there as kind of placeholders. And then I write my own using that information. So we will start another draft. Wow, I am. I'm sorry, guys. That's heat just really zapped my energy today. Goodness. All right. So. So do that. There we go. Paste. Okay. Vintage. Gold tone. Warsteiner. Beer bottle opener. From Germany. And I would say it's in very good condition. Das Warsteiner Freundschaftsspiel. Das Warsteiner Freundschaftsspiel. Freundschafts, Freundschaftsspiel. Hey, German is not my forte. Ein Konig, ein Konigin unter den Bieren. <laughs> and then there's more that I can't. Yeah, I'm not even going to try to read. Yeah, no. No, I am not. <laughs> All right, so ah, oh, wish it would fit. Mm, bum bum. Open. Oh, I made it fit. There we go. Copy that. I paid too much for this, but I paid too much for it, kind of, sorta, because. By buying this, I got something else for free. So, and I will talk about that in a little bit. I cannot believe it's the 19th of June already. It's crazy. Crazy, I say. This year is half over, people. That is crazy. All right, I'm going to put this in as a collectible. Condition used. Very minor wear as shown in photo. Ooh, photographs. <laughs> photographs. Warsteiner. Did I spell that right? Warsteiner. Yes, I did. Okay. Warsteiner. It is not modified that I know of. Germany, yes. Opener, yes. Beer as the theme. Paste that. Very little wear as shown in photograph. Measures. It measures three inches long by two inches wide. All right. Easy peasy. All right. What did I say they were selling for? They were listed. Well, $6.13.50. I'm going to go with $14.99 for now. I can always lower it later and see what happens. I can also send it first class. Easy peasy. In a padded mailer. So we're going to do one pound or less. Oh, I need to go back to that other one. I think I forgot to do something. 
We're going to do eight ounces just to cover. Just in case I have to put it in a box instead. 3% and save draft. Two down. I need to go back to the uh, T-ball because I think I forgot to put the ounces in there. And I don't want them thinking it's only zero ounces in weight. Yep, I did forget to. There we go. All right, save as draft. Okay. Now, I think the only other thing that I got at garage sales today was the title of this video. This is a Squishmallow. I had never seen one before. I'd never really paid attention. I, I, I've seen them in stores, but I've never picked one up and paid attention. And it's the first one I've seen in the wild. And the next one that I find will also be the first one I've seen in the wild. Because unfortunately, I believe this is a fake. Okay. I was warned by people in, in different groups that I belong to, that there are a lot of fake Squishmallows out there. So when I got this, and this was the freebie that I got for buying that uh, bottle opener. When I got this, um, I was hesitant because I, I didn't know anything about Squishmallows. So you know, I got home and I immediately started looking him up and I'm confused. I don't know whether it's fake or not, but I since I can't confirm that it's not fake, I'm leaning towards it being fake. Would, what do you guys think? Um, this is the deal. They are made by, oh, who are they made by? Gosh, I've already forgotten. Hang on a second. They are made by, yep, uh-huh, sure. I had that up here. Why is it not coming up? I'm looking, guys. Oh, Kelly Toy. Yeah. They are supposedly made by, well, they're not supposedly. They are legitimately made by Kelly Toy. And everything that I've read says that the tags on the back of the stuffed animals should say official or genuine. I can't remember for sure now official or genuine Squishmallows. And this just says Squishmallows. Okay. Other than that, it looks right. But when you look at the back of the back tag, it says inner American products, not Kelly toys. That's what makes me think it's fake. But when I do a search for stackable, cause he's a, in my research, I figured out he's a stackable because you can stack one on top of another. He's not sitting up. He's laying down. If you look up stackable pug squashmallows, squishmallows, he pops up as being sold at Walmart. Valentine's Day. So it's out of stock now, but he does show up on the walmart.com page. Just says out of stock. So that's the conundrum. Walmart wouldn't be selling a fake. I don't believe. Maybe I'm being naive. The problem is that if he's not fake, I'm going to severely undervalue him. Because I can't find very many for sale like him. Yes, he was a limited edition Valentine's Day type of. Hence the love. I don't want to list him as real if he's not, because I don't want to get yelled at by eBay or even shut down, because that's a very real possibility. But I don't want to lose out on some money if he is real and I sell him as a knockoff on another platform, because I wouldn't be able to sell him as a knockoff on eBay. 
So does anyone know about Squishmallows that can enlighten me as to whether he is real or fake? At this point, I am sorely tempted to just go ahead and put him in my antique booth because I don't want to risk getting shut down on any platform. But I do see him being sold on Macari. A couple of them. I think there's two. Really big range of prices on those two. Well, I don't know. I'm not going to be listing him tonight until I can confirm. So I may bring him up again later if, if anybody comes into chat and talks to me and uh, maybe we can figure it out together. I don't know. I was thrilled to find a squashmallow or squishmallow because like I said, I haven't seen any in the wild, but I'm not so sure he's an actual squishmallow. <laughs> so I hung. That was pretty much all of my garage selling today because it's just it was too dang hot for garage sales. So, like I said, I went to an auction today. The auction actually started at 10 a.m. I did not get over there until 2 p.m. And they were right about halfway through. So four hours and they were halfway through. This was a big estate auction. Big, huge, probably too big because like I said, it, it was still going late into the afternoon. It was hot in there. So um, I was not going to go at all because of the heat. I don't do well in the heat. And because I had other things I needed to get done. Um, but I was next door and thought I'd go over there and take a look. Just take a look. You're not going to buy anything, Gina. You're going to look and you're going to leave. Yeah. So I went over and I looked. And then I went to the desk and I got a number. <laughs> and then I bounced between the auction house and the antique mall who, that does have air conditioning for about, I guess it was about two and a half hours, something like that. Um, there were, well, I was, I was card number, you know, buyer number 114. So that gives you an idea of how many people were there. Um, and it was hot and sweaty and stinky and <laughs> not a whole heck of a lot of fun. And there were a lot of people buying things for a lot more money than any reseller was going to be able to uh, buy for. There, the whole reason that I decided to go ahead and get a number and stick around was that they had a bunch of Jim Shore figurines. Um, and I have had very good luck selling Jim Shore items. But I, there was no meat on the bone with the bidding. Um, I wouldn't have been able to make very much at all, if anything. Uh, they all went, well, there was a really big one. Oh, my God, it was gorgeous. It probably was almost two feet tall. It was huge. Biggest Jim Shore piece, the uh, second biggest Jim Shore piece I'd ever seen. And now that I'm thinking about it, I should have taken pictures so you guys could see what I'm talking about. But um, anyhow, it went for $100. It was probably worth $100, but not for a reseller. Uh, and I would not have wanted to ship it. Uh, the shipping would have been horrendous. So that would have been something, had I been able to get it for a decent price, that would have gone into uh, my antique booth, most likely, or on local Facebook marketplace. Um, but they had five or six others, other gym shores that were the more manageable size, you know, complete with boxes. And they went for somewhere around $30 each, which is fine. That's a great price, but not for a reseller. So, I did not end up getting any of those Jim Shore items, and that's fine. What I did get, and they were actually right next to the Jim Shore items, so what I did get, and not very many things, I'm telling you right now, and I haven't researched them. Like I said, I wasn't planning on going to the sale, so, but I did get this, and this I really wanted, and depending on what my research shows, will determine whether I'm going to 
list it or keep it because I like these things. But it's just a real pretty amber bottle with a beautiful glass um, lid. Bottle stopper, not lid. Anyhow, it's beautiful. I don't know that it's necessarily all that old. There are no marks on it. But it's pretty. And something for you guys to keep in mind. If you're ever out and about and you see a bottle or a bottle stopper, the bottle stoppers are where the, the value is. The bottle stoppers are more sought after than just a bottle. Okay? So, if you ever have a bottle that is broken but the stopper is fine, sell the stopper online. Take measurements. This is extremely important. Of course, you're going to want the length, overall length of it because they're going to want to know that. But take measurements, especially of the stopper end. You're going to want and you're going to need to be specific because people are buying these to fit in certain bottles. Hello, Candy. But you're going to want to measure the diameter here, in the middle, and at the very top. And you're going to want to list all of those diameters. Okay. You're also going to want to give them the diameter of the widest part. You're also going to want to give them the length of the stopper part. Okay. And you're going to want to explain it all very clearly in your listing or you're going to get a return because somebody is going to buy this to fit into a specific bottle unless they're buying it to resale. And if it doesn't fit that bottle when they get it, they're going to want to return it most likely. So be very cautious. But this is where your value is, not in the bottle. For the most part, there are, there are going to be... Um, um, exceptions to the rule. But this is not where your value is. This is where your value is. So keep that in mind. Candy, how are you tonight? It is always nice to see you. I was explaining that I've been out in the heat all day and I'm exhausted and sweaty. My hair is sopping wet. Oh, it's drying a little bit now. But I went to an auction, so... It was hot. Hey, Carter, how are you? You just missed my show and tell on my, on my genie bottle that I got today. <laughs> oh, I'm tired. Okay. So I guess the first thing I want to do is find my phone. <laughs> I'm going to take a picture of this with Google Lens and see if anything pops up. It's always the first thing I do on something I'm not quite sure how to identify. There are no maker's marks on this bottle. So we will see. I doubt it'll come right up, but you never know. I am going through things slowly, so you'll have to stick around, but I didn't buy that much. <laughs> You hit a listing record today, Carter. And what is that record? My God, that bottle came right up. <laughs> 64? Holy moly, Carter. What kind of things are you listing? Because that is, wow. Wow, that's amazing. Wow. <laughs> I am shocked. I have, I don't believe I have ever listed that many. I honestly don't keep track anymore, so I could be wrong, but I don't think I've ever listed that many in one day. All similar items. You know, honestly, if you have that many similar items, that is the way to do it. Definitely. Definitely the way to do it. Good for you. I am, I am in awe. Congratulations, Carter. That's fantastic. Okay, guys, that bottle came right up. Doesn't mean that what they're saying it is is correct, uh, but it's coming up as Blanco. So I'm going to have to do a little bit more research. 
15 inches high. Looks about right, but we'll see. No, this is 12 inches. So 12 and a half. I'm bringing the actual website up. It's Goodwill, shopgoodwill.com, so who knows if they've got it listed correctly or not. Yeah, no. Vintage Blanco Art Glass Decanter. It did not sell for... What did it sell for? Oh, thirty-seven sixty-three is what it sold for on their Shop Goodwill. Hmm. But what gets me is the size. Yeah, this one's a little bit bigger than the one I've got. So let me just look up... Blanco. I love Blanco. I can't believe I didn't know that was Blanco. I'll look it up and then if I hit, get a good hit on here, I will uh, share the screen for you. Blanco Art Glass Decanter. Well, it might just be a Blanco. Boy, there's been a lot of Blanco decanters sold. I would sure like to find one exactly like it. That would make it so much easier. Star Weekly Complete Novel News. Star Weekly. Star Weekly. Why is that familiar to me? Star Weekly Novel. Complete Novel Newspapers. We're not talking the rumor mill star magazine, are we? Yeah, I like it when you have similar items because then you can just sell similar and just make the changes and go. It's nice. Guys, I think this might just be a Blanco. Woo, I did all right. Yeah, everything's pointing to Blanco. Uh, I will do one more search. Well, hello, John. Right, John? Am I right? I... Ugh. Terrible with names. There. Everybody go out to his page. <laughs> I actually didn't know I could do that, so that's cool. <laughs> I learned something new. I have a new toy. John, I wish you could stay. I think it's John. If it's not John, you got to tell me. John, I wish you could stay, but I understand people are busy. It is summertime, and it is the weekend, and I get it, but I appreciate you stopping by. I got to write that down because it's not letting me copy it. CJP value shop dot CA. All right, I will check it out after the after the stream is over, okay? Cool. By the way, guys, if anyone wants to join me on screen, that is the link for you to do that. It is John. Yay! All right, you take care, John. Thanks for stopping by. Seriously, I appreciate it. Okay going to do just a little bit more searching. I don't like selling something wrong. I don't want to mislead people. But it does look like Blanco. Well, all right. All right, all right, all right. Yep. I'd say it's Blanco. Cool. Well, I'm glad I picked this up. This was not what, like I said, not what I was standing there waiting to try to buy, but um, that's okay. So, now I understand why one of the other resellers there was mad that I got it. Here, I'm going to share screen. I want to show you guys something. 
instead of just talking about it. We were talking. I was talking earlier about how the stoppers are where the value is. Look right here. Yeah. $39.99. That was a single bid. I wouldn't have put it up for auction, but maybe you can. I mean, I just don't like auctions very often. Um, but $40 just for the stopper. Okay. So, but you've got to make sure that you list your measurements and that they are correct. Or you're going to end up with a return or at least a negative feedback, something. Okay. That's well, not Blinko. All right. Well, it gives me an idea. Oh, I like high bid. I don't use them a lot, um, but I do like high bid. High bid's fun. Now, when you're doing high bid, are you doing just your local auctions or are you having them ship you the items? Because I just do local because I don't want to pay for shipping. What was I going to do? Oh, yeah. I was going to do this. CJP values shop.ca. It was local. Yeah. I use high bid for, um, actually I'm going to pick up, Oh, you know what? I forgot about the live and the fact that I actually am also bidding on something on a, on a online auction. Let me real quick see if I want it and whether I'm having to go pick that up tomorrow or not. I forgot all about it. Yeah. I got an invoice. what I get an invoice for? Uh Really, I'm kind of, <laughs> hang on a second. I'll bring your website up here in a second again. But this is the only thing I don't like about doing online auctions is the fact that I bid on about 14 different lots and I was outbid on 13, which means I won one. It is not necessarily one that I would have bid on had I known it was going to be the only thing I was going to win. And the pickup point is about an hour and 10 minutes away. So I'm going to have to drive two hours plus to go pick up a $5 item tomorrow. Not the best situation. However, I'm not too upset over it because half of that distance will be me also going the same direction. I pass through a town where I'm meeting someone who is going to buy my Tiffany lamp that I showed you guys last week. So it's all worth it. That lamp is not a cheap lamp. So I'm very happy to sell it and she's very happy to buy it. She's extremely excited. So uh, no, I have not used Goodwill blue box. Um, I've heard too many horror stories and I've also heard it's hard to get in there because I guess the, boxes go fast. The ones that I've looked at were the jewelry boxes. Back when I used to watch Texas Gal Treasures all the time. Um, but yeah, I'm going to, yeah, exactly. Two birds, one stone. Ha do I really want the item I bid on and one? No, not really, because I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it because it's too heavy to ship. I guess it'll go into the antique mall, the antique booth. It is a, a antique singer sewing machine, <laughs> but I only paid five dollars for it, so no, yeah, not too bad. The guy that ran the auction was actually on Storage Wars. Which guy? I used to watch Storage Wars all the time when I had cable. You type. I am going to bring up your website, Carter. And then I'm going to scroll. Oh, no, this isn't at all what I was thinking. Oh, these are old. Cool. I've never heard of these. Oh, these are neat. How fun. How many did you get total? I'm assuming more than 64. He's a Canuck. 
a Canadian. These are really cool. I have never heard of these things. Popular, popular electronics I have heard of. I used to read popular electronics as a child. I know, I'm a geek. But my dad ran an electronics store. It's the only reason I read them. Thrivo dog food. That must be a Canadian dog food because I've never heard of it. You've got some really cool stuff, Carter. Wow. That's some really neat stuff and a lot of it. Good for you. That is cool. So I have to save this seller because I'm going to want to investigate your stuff a little bit more. I love ephemera. I really do. And it's easy to ship. That's the wrong one. Plus, I'm glad it was the wrong one. Because no offense, guys, but you don't need to see my password. <laughs> so let me take care of this. Um, no, that is my password. Wait, why, why are you not letting me... Okay, seriously, it's not accepting my password. Oh, because it's .ca. That's why. Okay. All right, hang on. Advanced. That's what's wrong. Scared me for a minute. I'm like, um, I know what my password is. <laughs> I'm glad I typed the wrong one. I really am. All right, and... Specific sellers only show items from specific sellers. CJP value shop. I don't know why they have to make this so hard to get to just the users. It's not letting me. CJP value shop. I hate that. I wonder if it's not going to let me save you as a as a favorite because you're in Canada. I've never run into this before. Oh, filming. Ooh. I don't know. I will ask her if she's okay with that okay but if she's not no i but i i never thought about it so i'm glad that you uh mentioned that i honestly never would have thought about it All right why can't i find you to mark you as somebody i want to look at later or shop as you know i mean oh god i can't even talk tonight i am so tired <laughs> Okay, what am I trying to do? Find stores. There's the button I'm looking for. Oh, from well, I watched some of the Storage Wars Canada too. I believe it's on there too. Maybe not. Oh, I can't remember. Okay. CJP Value Shop. I type it in CJP value shop and it won't give me any probably because you're a Canadian store. That sucks. That sucks. That's not. Uh, 
That's crap. Do not like. Do not like. Well, I've got it written down, so I'll try to figure it out later. Um, Don Reinhardt. Don Reinhardt. Don Reinhardt. Hmm. Not ringing a bell, but I type him in. Don Reinhardt. Storage Wars. I just want to see a picture of him, then maybe I'll know who it is. Oh, he looks vaguely familiar to me. But that's still cool. That's very cool. Yeah, I've, I know I've seen episodes of, of course, the original Storage Wars. And then I've seen the one that takes place in New York. And I've seen the one that takes place in Louisiana, I think it is. I don't remember for sure. I don't have cable. So I don't watch a lot of regular TV, but when I'm down at the antique mall, they always have storage wars or some some type of show like that on their TV at the antique mall. So I watch stuff there. Oh, okay. Let me try that. Let me try that. Find store. Nope. Carter, Fela. Yep, it's not coming up either. That is odd. Darn it. Well, I'll keep trying later. Not something that I have to do right now. So I'm going to list this um, bottle. Hoy, brain, work. I haven't even been drinking this time, guys. Not like I did Monday. <laughs> I may have had a bit much Monday. I mean, not really that bad, but I was getting a little giggly. Which is usually what I do <laughs> when I drink a bit much. If you guys were not here towards the end of Monday's stream, I had a guest on. And I think you're probably all familiar with him. Um, and wow, I feel terrible because, oh my God, there it is. Cameron from Gravity Goods. <laughs> my, my brain's fried, literally. Um, Cameron from Gravity Goods came on for about, I don't know, 20 minutes towards the end of my stream. And it was a lot of fun. It's the first time I'd ever had somebody on here with me and I had a ball. I hope he had a ball. Um... Enough of looking at my, at him. well, yeah, Cameron was a guest. It wasn't planned or I would have put it in the announcement of the video, but um, we were just chit-chatting and uh, he's like, hey, I'll come on for a little bit. I'm like, cool. You know, so we chatted for a while, talked about a few different things and, and then his pizza was ready. So he had to go and I was getting tired. So, I mean, I was on here for two hours that night or almost two hours. So. And we had a very good time, and I would love to do it again. Well, now you, yeah, see, Carter, your you, your um, eBay store is now famous because it's on my channel on YouTube. <laughs> All five viewers. <laughs> you know, I could do that, guys. Would that be something you guys would be interested in, um, spotlighting different people's um, eBay stores? Just a thought. I haven't, like, it's just popped in my head, so I haven't, like, thought it completely through, but would that be something you guys would be interested in? Oh, my God. Let's see my store, Gina. Let's see your store, Gina. Let's see your store, Gina. <laughs> Let me bring it up. I will show you my store. Okay. And Carter, I tell you what, let me, let me hash out the details in my head. Okay. And, um, 
Let's see what we can do. I mean, I don't have a very big following, so I, you know, I don't have a lot of people in here at any given time, but I would be more than willing to do that. You know, everybody who's, who is in here can talk about it while I'm showing it to you and I'm showing it to them and I can give you my opinion then and whatever they're typing in as well. And then I could just leave it open for um, comments in the, um, be below the video after it's, been recorded and everything and other people can give you their opinions and, and suggestions, things like that. I don't see a problem with that, but I will double check. I will run everything through my head, make sure I'm not going to now because I want to, I want to make sure that I'm not going to be causing any issues. Okay. But if it's something that you're interested in, I, I don't have, at least without thinking it through, I don't think that would be a problem and it would give me something to focus on instead of just rambling for two hours, which is what I do. I'll ramble, but uh, yeah, yeah, I'll hit you up. Um, maybe not next weekend because my sister's coming into town. So I probably will not be doing a live next Saturday night. Um, I don't know exactly when she's going to be here. So maybe I will, maybe I won't, but you know, in the next week or so, Let's see. The weekend after that is the 4th of July, which I know means nothing to you Canucks. <laughs> but um, I may not have a show that weekend either. Ooh, that's going to be two weekends without a show. Mm, I'll have to figure that out. But you guys wanted to see um, my store. So here is my store. Can you see it all right? And quite honestly, I don't know. What do you guys think? I don't know how important this top part is to your store because people aren't really going to your store, um, not your storefront. They are searching for an item in eBay and your item is coming up. Vast majority are never going to see this page, but that's my opinion. You got your mileage may vary, but I have a little blurb, which I probably should update. I haven't updated it since. 2018 or 2019, but anyhow, I have 700 currently 746 listings. So I'm probably not going to scroll through all of them. <laughs> I think you guys might be a little bit bored, but as you can see, I like my glassware, my ceramics, new and old, but mainly old. You read the blurbs candy. Well, that's good to know. That's good to know, but a lot of odd things. I'm thinking, honestly, because I can't seem to sell these darn books, these children's books. I bought them at a garage sale two summers ago, really cheap. So I have hardly any money into them, but I'm actually toying. I saw a really neat tutorial for making the, the children's books into journals. And I just thought it was really cool. I may take a couple of these and try. Because, you know, I haven't. I used to make journals. I haven't made any journals in a long time. But. This is my store. In all its glory. My new passion. I love getting knives and selling them. Because I can usually pick them up really cheap at garage sales. Usually. And they sell pretty well. And I don't know if any of you guys know Cincinnati Picker. But I really want to send him this. This um, Stein is from Cincinnati. <laughs> but he probably already has it. <laughs> well, Cameron, were your ears burning? Because we were just talking about him. About you. They were surprised to hear that you came on my live last week. Or was it, I guess it was this past Monday. <laughs> How have you been? Are you staying out of trouble? Because if you are, you're not doing something right. <laughs> it is more fun to get into trouble. What you say? Yes, he, he was my first guest. So far, my only guest. <laughs> what 
you think I meant? I'm exhausted, so I may be saying things incorrectly. I'm sorry. Been out in the heat all day. I'm exhausted. It's 100 degrees here. Supposed to be hotter tomorrow. <sighs> they wanted to see my store, so I'm just kind of scrolling through some listings right now <laughs> to catch you up. Cameron, do you or actually anyone in chat, because when I was talking about it earlier, um, really nobody was in here. Why no Instagram announcement, Cameron? Oh, what have I missed? Um, I, was, I started talking earlier, and it's the title of my live, but it's the um, Squishmallow Conundrum. Does anybody who is currently in chat know anything about Squishmallows? Because I do not. I am trying to learn rather quickly, oh, but I am... I'm very confused, and I want to know whether this is a real Squishmallow or a fake Squishmallow because I don't want to get shut down by eBay. So I'll scroll through this page, and then I'll bring up the full screen so you can see the Squishmallow I'm talking about. Oop. I'll take this one, this listing off tomorrow. No more lamp tomorrow. I'm just keeping it up there because she's going to pay once she looks at it. So I've got to keep the listing live for now. Yeah, I know they're popular. My problem is I think it's a fake, but I'm getting confused. I know that somebody in one of the groups I belong to or one of the videos I watched, I, I don't know, said that eBay will very quickly shut you down if you are selling a fake Squishmallow. So I don't want to risk that. But this is the Squishmallow that I got today. It is Prince the Pug. Although I've also seen it listed as Pam the Pug, so I can't tell <laughs> if it's Prince or Pam. But the problem is the, I have to look it up again. I can't, can't remember. Brain is fried. Hang on. Oh, come on. Got too many Squishmallow pages open right now trying to figure this out. Kelly. Yeah. Um, well, that's the question because according to the interwebs, Squishmallows are made by Kelly Toy and they should all have the tag that says um, authentic or original or something Squishmallow. Mine just says Squishmallow. Okay. So this was my first go. I don't know. But then if you look at the back of the tag, and I know you guys probably can't read this, and I can't ever find the camera to show it to you. It says Inter American Products. It does not say Kelly Toy. So that would lead me to believe that it is a fake. However, this I have found where this was sold on Walmart.com in February because it's a Valentine's Day special limited edition. This guy was sold on walmart.com. So Walmart, I wouldn't think, would sell a knockoff. Oh, we're just talking about Squishmallows. You know anything about it, Carter? <laughs> but the problem is that on eBay... There aren't any of these guys listed that I've been able to find. Any of the stackables. This is supposedly a stackable because you can, he's flat. He's not upright like this. He's flat. He's cute too. When he's so squishy. <laughs> um, I can't find any of them on eBay, but I can find this same guy on Macari which I think they said in this group or video that I watched that Macari isn't 
so bad about you selling a fake. The thing is, the price difference between a fake and a real is quite a bit. And I don't want to sell a real one for fake prices, but I don't want to sell a fake one and get shut down. Actually, he would make an excellent chihuahua bed. <laughs> oh my God, that would be so cute. I mean, look at that. That's perfect. That, that's a chihuahua size bed right there. Right there. Squishy down. He'd be all comfy, cozy. Mm, we might have to talk, Candy. I just don't know. And like I said, I, you know, if, and if all else fails, I could put it in my antique booth. But uh, again, I'm still not going to get a good price for him if he's real. You know, if I'm not listing him as real. I don't want to risk my store, my eBay store over it though. So I don't know. I'm not going to list him tonight because I need to figure it out. And I think I'm, I think the brain is too heat fried to figure it out tonight. I don't know. But if you guys know anything about Squishmallows, uh, or if you know anyone who does know about Squishmallows, I would love any information you might have. Um, yes, I'll probably post something on some of my groups to try to figure that out too. But tonight is not the night to research that because I'll make some mistake and I'll end up getting my eBay store shut down and then I'll be in a world of hurt. So, anywho, that was my conundrum as I put in my title. <laughs> um, hang on, my dog's coughing up a lung. You all right, bud? He's got congestive heart failure, so he coughs sometimes. And I always check him to make sure it's not the big one, Elizabeth. Yeah, no, I don't want to get shut down. <laughs> I would cry over a Squishmallow that I didn't even pay anything for. I got it for free at a garage sale today. So it's not worth it. Yeah, I um, actually, I just got the antique booth a few months ago. And it's going pretty well. I sold a $30 cart out of it today. So I was happy with that. Um, a $30 cart that I bought and used for two years. I bought for like $5, something like that. Turned it thirty, and I got to use use of it for a couple of years, so that works for me. I sold a barrel chair on Facebook Marketplace a little bit ago. Turned out I sold it to a friend. <laughs> I didn't know she was interested, or I would have just asked her if she wanted it. But yeah, I'm, I'm trying to declutter my house because it's beginning to look like a hoarder house, and I am not going to let it get that bad. So I listed things on Facebook Marketplace today. I listed. Um, the barrel chair, a slipper chair, and a kitchen table and chairs. And so far, just the barrel chair is sold, but that's all right. That's one less thing in my bedroom. I never used it except to throw clothes on. So now I have to put my clothes away, which is what I wanted to be able to do. <laughs> so, and I'm going to... What do you want? Do you want to see more of my store or do you want me to list this Blanco? I'll leave it up to you guys. And I'm going to take that off. I don't have a lot of stuff that I need to list, Carter. I just have a lot of stuff. List. Okay. List it is. I'm glad you said that. So I'm going to, I guess I could bring up my screen so you can see what I'm doing. All right. Vintage Amber oh, Blanco first. Blanco Amber Genie Bottle with Stopper. Uh, how tall did I say it was? It feels like a year ago. How long did it take you to list 700 items? Well, at one point I had 1,000. Um, hang on a second. 12 inches tall. Okay. 
12 inches tall. Oop, come back here. Fumble fingers. Let me get this done real quick. Tall. Um, I slowly, because, you know, I started doing this part-time. And thank you, Candy. <laughs> oh, um, I hovered right around 500 for the longest time. And just, you know, listing a few things every night after, well, okay. So I listed a few things every night while at work. But, uh, and then on my days off, I didn't really spend a lot of time listing, just steady everyday type of thing. And I had it up to about 500 when I went full time. When I went full time, the first month I added like 400 listings <laughs> because I was home all day. <laughs> I had nothing better to do and I wanted to build my business. So I got it up to like 900 the first month. So that would have been September of last year. So, um, it took me right at a year to get up to the 900 listings, but you know, 400 of those was in one month. <laughs> um, and then I tried to keep it steady at between 900 and a thousand listings in October, November, December, which November and December, it was very hard to keep it up that high because I was selling a lot because it was Q4. Um, and then between COVID and everything being shut down and then injuring the shoulder, um, my listings have dropped back down. Um, and right now I'm not pushing to get it back up to 900 or a thousand if it happens great, but, um, I'm, I'm a lot pickier now in what I buy than when I started, when I started, it was like, I'm, Oh, that's vintage. Oh, that's vintage. Oh, that's vintage. And I've learned a lot in the past year and a half. So I don't pick up just everything because it's vintage anymore. It has to speak to me. This was a happy accident today. This was a very happy accident. I, like I said, I was looking at the Jim Shore items. I wasn't paying attention to this. And I just, I knew this would have some value if not the whole thing. I did not realize it was Blanco. I'm very happy it's Blanco. So sometimes you get lucky. Actually, I need to, in my pocket... In my pocket are my three cards from the auction, the three items that I bought at the auction, which I haven't shown you the third item yet. Um, and my total, including tax today at the auction, was $3.80. <laughs> I, yeah, I paid $2 for this Blanco. Well, 216 or 217 with tax. So not too shabby. Not too shabby. Vintage glassware, collectibles. Condition is used but no condition issues, no cracks, chips, or stains. All right. Item height, uh, 12 inches. Item length, I hate that. It's still 12 inches. I'm not, I'm not playing that game. Item width is six inches. Bottle. Is that going to come up? Nope. Fine. It is not any of these things. It is a bottle. Bottle slash decanter. I should put that in there. Silly woman. Oh, come on. Sometimes I wish eBay would make their title lines a little bit longer. 
just a little bit longer. But who am I? All right. It is not a genie brand. Oh, my God. It is Blanco. It is vintage. A vintage. Amber. Vintage. It is not antique. Hello. Come on, screen. There we go. Original, adult. All right, time period manufactured, I'm going to say the 60s, just because of the color. It might be the 50s, but. Oh, my God. Some of these item specifics just amaze me. Oh, wait a minute. Before I get too much further on this, did I change the... <laughs> That's why it's not coming up right. I forgot to change the category. Oy, yay, yay, yay. I am tired, guys. Don't stand out in the 100 degree heat for hours if you can help it. Seriously. Okay, make sure I got everything there. All right, try this again. Decanter. Now these are making more sense. Okay, good enough. Filled out all the required. That's all I really care about right now. No condition issues. Take it easy. Take it easy. Okay, I'll take it easy. I promise. <laughs> candy, candy, candy. You crack me up. No cracks, chips, or stains. All right. Now, I think I'm going to shoot for the moon on this. And we'll see what happens. I can lower the price later. We can go with $49.99. See what happens. And let's weigh it. Oh, you guys remember, I don't know if you were here. Do I still have one? I do. Remember, hang on one second. Let me bring this back to full screen. Um, remember earlier, or not earlier, um, either Saturday stream or Monday stream, and I showed you those vintage glasses, those uh, Bartlett Collins glasses, and I told you that I was going to be shipping them in a, uh, hello, in a uh, inner liner for um, a roll of bubble wrap. They also work very well for things like this. Wrap them in bubble wrap, slide them in here, seal off the ends, and they're not going to bang against the bottle in the box. Just, just another tidbit of information. Thought I'd point that out to you real quick. Okay. Go back here. It weighs two pounds, so it's going to be three by the time I get it wrapped. So there we go. Boost at 3%. Save as draft. Another one done. Okay. All right. I only have one more item that I picked up today. And hang on. Screen's being funky. I'm a little bit disappointed in it. Um, like I said, I didn't plan on going to the auction, so I didn't go to the preview last night to check everything out, make sure everything was in fabulous condition before the auction. So I bought something I was really excited about when I bought it. And then when I got it, you know, started putting it away, you know, to take home with me, I noticed that it was broken, but I didn't spend very much. So hang on. Oh no, I have two other items. That's all right. I'll show you the, the cool thing first. The other thing is kind of boring, but who knows? It might turn out better than you know you, than you think. I have this thing for tiki's, you know, tiki mugs, tiki wall art. You know, I, I like tiki's, and it's popular on eBay. It sells very well. So when I found these tiki bookends, 
I got all excited. Unfortunately, like I said, when I got ready to take them home, I noticed that this corner is broken off, but it's still fully functional. It's not even all that noticeable. So I think I can still sell them. I just won't be able to get what I had hoped for out of them. Now they are extremely heavy. The set weighs six pounds. But I only paid a dollar for them. So I know that I can make my money back. I'm not, not too worried about that. So I have not yet looked them up. I wish that I knew more about stones. I'm assuming this is just marble, just green marble, but I don't know for sure because I'm terrible about stones. Everybody has their fortes and, and gemstones and things like that are not mine. They would have been my mother's, but not mine. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and hang on one second. Having a bit of a another conundrum here with my computer. So hang on a sec. Why are you being this way? Okay. User error, not the internet this time. Okay. I wanted to bring up another screen because I've got, I have a few screens going here. All right. So, Tiki, let's see. Marble Tiki Bookends. Hello, McFly. What movie is that from? Hello, McFly. Oh, my God. Just search. <laughs> Just search already. Marble Tiki bookends. All right. So these are the same bookends, just different colors. These are not solds. Let me look at solds. Solds. Cameron, did you run away already? And not say goodbye. Or are you cleaning again? Maybe you're cleaning. All right. So, yeah, not very much. They are not worth as much as I thought they would be. These sold for $25. And they are exactly the same. Just a different color. Now, these guys, why did they sell? Oh, because they're huge. 12 inches tall. How much are these? How tall are these guys? These guys are six inches, so they're twice the size. Okay. Now, here's a single bookend that sold for somewhere around $15. And then you got these cheapo ones. Why did they sell so cheap? Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm going to list mine for $25 and see what happens. Like I said, I've got a dollar into them. I can live with that. Oh, these were even eight inch. Okay. All right. So come here. There we go. Yes, I talked to my computer. I talked to a lot of inanimate objects. <laughs> when you live alone, you find yourself doing that a little more often. All right. Oh, wow. We've already been on here an hour and a half. I'll get these listed. I will show you the other item that I got at the auction that as of right now, I think is really a, a bunch of nothing, but you never know. I might research it and go, oh, you're worth $10,000. That would be nice. Okay. Vintage bookends in parentheses two. Hello typing. Tiki. <coughs> Green. Hello, McFly. <laughs> Good.
good. I'm glad to know I'm not alone. Green marble stone, but they are six inches. What did I say they were? Six pounds. Wow. I'm not going to put that in this, but six inches tall. That'll work. I have to make sure I disclose the damage, though. 109 with tax. Nope, 108 with tax. Four auction. 619, 2021. Yeah, I tend to not say nice things to my computer or car either. <laughs> I will be real honest. I have a lot of anger management issues with inanimate objects. <laughs> I have to admit. Ooh, wow, let's type and spell things correctly. Okay. Yeah, we won't talk about well, I guess I am talking about it, but I had a beautiful piece of glass that I dearly loved. It was a um, apothecary jar, but it was really fragile glass, and I loved this piece. I loved this piece. It was clear glass, but it had gold swirls on it. it was beautiful vintage, of course, and I set it on the floor to move a shelf that a move a bookcase that it was on and I never got it put back up on the bookcase and I kicked it one day and of course it shattered. I threw such a hissy fit because I'm mad at myself, you know, I was just mad at myself, but I had to take it out on everything else. And I think I was probably within seconds of like picking up a heavy piece of furniture and throwing it out the window. <laughs> I was so mad. <laughs> I was so mad. So, yeah, you have to just kind of stop and go, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> just had that blind rage. And since I had done it and I couldn't blame anybody else, I took it out on inanimate objects. My dog ran from the ran for the hills. I never would have hurt him, but he was scared because I was throwing such a fit. <laughs> I really loved that piece, though. It was very cool. So. All right. Six inches tall. I'm going to just copy what I put for the condition because it says it all. Copy. All right. And I said I was going to do $24.99. I said I was going to do $25, but I do $99. So, and I said it was six pounds. So once it is shipped, it will be seven pounds. Easy peasy. But it would fit in a pri flat rate priority box. So No, I'm just going to leave it as is for now. I'll ponder that, whether I'm going to just do a flat rate or not. And save as draft. Easy peasy. Okay. The only other thing that I had that I got today, I'm really curious to find out what time that auction was over because, man, there were thousands upon thousands of items. So many Barbie dolls. I don't, mm -mm, I'm not buying any Barbie dolls. You know how I feel about dolls. But there were so many Barbie dolls and so many regular dolls. And I didn't even see the first half items, first half of the auction. I didn't even see those items because I didn't go until after they, those were all done. But 
was so much stuff. It was crazy. Okay, the only other thing that I bought at the auction, and I got it for 50 cents. I don't give a darn about the flowers, okay, guys? But I just thought the vase was pretty. It's wood, carved. It's definitely wood. So, hang on a minute. I'm going to take these out so I can turn it over and look at it a little closer. No, no marks at all. But I thought it was kind of pretty. It's a good size. I like wood um, wood vases turned on a lathe and then looks like hand carved. Hang on. <coughs> Excuse me. I felt that coming. Um, but, yeah, I paid 50 cents for it. Okay. So, it's hand lathe turned. My dad did lathe work at woodworking, so I know that's a hand lathe mark. It's really quite pretty. I don't really see any condition issues either. Cool. So, wrong button. That's the button I want. Let's see here. Hand turned lathe vase. Let's see what comes up. Ew. That is actually really cool, that one there. That's a wood burl. You can tell the cracks and everything. It's a, a piece of wood. It's called a burl. Very cool. Okay, so they don't sell for much. Okay, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Like I said, I have 50 cents into it. I'm okay with that. How tall is this? It is nine and a half inches tall. I'm going to take lathe out. See if I get more hits. That helped. Okay. Oh, I love burl wood. I love it. So cool with the cracks in it like that. I just, I love that. Okay. I always wanted to learn to to use a lathe. My father never would let me, which I get. You can lose a hand. You can lose an eye. But I've always wanted to learn how to do it. In fact, he wouldn't even let me in the room when he was doing it because he was afraid that something would happen. Um, just trying to find something similar. God, that's Beautiful, beautiful. Burlwood is the bomb, guys. It is the bomb. I mean, of course, you can't use it as a vase with water in it, but it's still the bomb. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to have to make up a price, I guess. I'm going to look at the non-solves just to get an idea. 384. These are cool too. Each different color on this vase is a different type of wood. That's a lot of work. But it's so cool. I used to have a clock that was made out of a whole bunch of different kinds of wood. But then I gave it back to my ex-husband because it was his family that had made it. But it was cool. All right. I'm just going to make up a price because I can't find anything like it. Shoot for the moon. You can always lower your price, right? I'll get this listed and then I will chit chat with you guys for a little bit and then get out of here. Let you guys resume your Saturday evening.
I still think this is vintage. Um, hand. Oh, God, come on, computer. Stop doing that. Thank you. Hand turned and carved wooden vase. Nine and a half inches tall. And it is five and a half inches wide. All right. Works for me. Copy. All right. 50 would have been 54 cents with tax. Change the category. I'm going to go with wood items. Because, yes, it's a vase, but it can't you can't put water in it. So we're just going to go with that. And I'm going to actually list this in my categories under artwork because that's what I think it is. It is a piece of art. Condition used. No condition issues. No cracks or chips. Okay. Photos later. Handmade. Unknown country or region of manufacturer. Paste that. No condition issues. No cracks or chips. All right. The million dollar question. What's my main way? Oh, main way to source. Wow. That's. I'm shooting for the moon here. I'm putting $49.99 on here. Um. Wow. <sighs> that is actually really hard for me to answer. Um, let me finish this real quick and then I'll give it my all, all of my attention. Okay. That's saved. All right. Um, it's not, a cut and dry answer. And the reason that I say that is it depends on the season, whether it's garage sale season or not. Um, and honestly, it depends on so many other factors because right now, the way that I'm sourcing right now, what I would tell you is it's one third thrift stores, one third garage sales and one third auctions. Pretty much even. In the winter time when there aren't Garage sales, I would say it is majority auctions. Um, if, if you had asked me this two years ago when I first started this, I would say it was 85% thrift stores because I didn't know any better. You, my opinion, and you're in Canada, so things may be different up there, okay? My opinion, I get more bang for my buck at auctions and garage sales than I ever will at a thrift store. Um, for instance, this vase. I paid 50 cents for it at an auction today. If I was to find this at my local Goodwill, I can guarantee you they would have a sticker price of at least $5.99, but more likely $7.99 on this. And I wouldn't buy it because I wouldn't think there was enough meat on the bone for me to make any money. Um, but your mileage may vary. You know, garage sales, at least here, garage sale pricing and auction pricing are fairly similar. Some things are going to be cheaper at garage sales, but some things are going to be cheaper at auctions. Um, like at an auction here, if you were to run across a box of DVDs, not collectible DVDs, just run-of-the-mill DVDs, a box of, let's say, 20 DVDs, you're going to get that box most of the time 
for under $5 at an auction. I went to a garage sale this morning. They were wanting a buck 50 for each DVD. So, you know, your auction's going to be cheaper. Of course, you can hand pick them at the garage sale. Pick out exactly the ones you want. But so, you know, but our DVDs at Goodwill are $1.99 and half the DVDs aren't in the DVD case when you look at them. So, oh, you, you don't have any local auctions yet up there? I'll be real honest. We may be facing another shutdown here um, with this um, Delta strand, Delta, Delta variant that's coming around. There, we're starting to get more um, active cases in my county again. So I'm I'm not going to be surprised if we don't get shut down again. But I'm hoping not. I really don't want to again. I don't want to go through it again. But so back to your original question. Um, right now, I'd say it's about 33%, 33%, 33%. You know, thrift stores, garage sales, auctions. Now, if you were going to ask me which I prefer, I'm going to say auctions, um, whether they be in person or online. Um, auctions are probably my favorite for because it's everything's right there. You don't have to go from garage sale to garage sale to garage sale or thrift store to thrift store to thrift store. Everything's right there. You've got a full array of things that you can buy if you're interested in them. It's not something I'd really thought about before, so thanks for bringing that up. I think the return's going to be pretty good on this $3 and, what did I say, $3.80? $3.80 that I spent. I think I'm going to do all right. If I can get my asking price of $50 for this, which I probably won't, but maybe it'll sell in, you know, two minutes after I get it photographed and, and sent live. So, okay, grand scheme of things. If I were to get my asking price, $50, I'm only going to pick up one of these because they're heavy. Uh, what I do? $25? <coughs> I've got a tickle in my throat. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hang on a second. What did I say? Yeah. Yeah. So $50, $75, and another $50. So $125. So $4, $3.80. $4 into 175 potential profit. Or <coughs> $170 potential profit, basically. I can live with that. I don't think I'm going to get that. Don't don't get me wrong. But what I shoot for, for profit, I'd like to get more. But my absolute minimum when I'm um, thrifting an item, whether it be auctions or thrift stores or garage sales, whatever, is four times my investment. I won't pick up an item if I can't make four times the investment. So if I spent $4.00. I should be happy if I can make $16 out of all this. And I've got it listed for $175. So I think the odds are pretty good that I'm going to make my money back and then some. So <coughs> I'm sorry, I got a tickle in my throat. Was that talking about that Delta variant? I don't have COVID, I promise you. Um, God, I hope I don't get it. Um, so, yeah, I, you, you asked a really interesting question because now it's just swirling around in my head. But I really do think that that uh, auctions are my favorite, even the online auctions, because I can sit at my sit on my phone or sit with my phone, not on my phone um, or my laptop in the comfort of my own home and do the online auctions. Um I don't know how it is in Canada, but the vast majority of the online auction places around here with high bid or equip bid or any of those, I'm going to cough again, sorry. <coughs> um, they have a 15% um, auctioneer's fees. So you have to keep that in mind. Hey, Justin, welcome. Do you know anything about Squishmallows? I'm asking everybody who comes in if they know anything about Squishmallows. 
And pardon me, Justin, I've got a tickle in my throat, so I keep coughing. I'm trying not to, though. Um, so, yeah, you get the, the seller's premium or buyer's premium, whatever it is, auctioneer's premium that you have to pay here. So you have to kind of keep that in mind when you're bidding because you're going to have 15% on top of whatever. So, well, why not, Justin? <laughs> Everybody's failing me. I need to find out if he's real or fake. <laughs> I don't want to get shut down by the eBay militia. <laughs> I'll figure it out before I list him or don't list him. I have no money into him, so I don't care if I don't get to list him. Um, so Carter asked me an interesting question, Justin. You might want to jump in on this. He asked me, um, I'm really trying not to cough, guys. Sorry. Um, hang on a second. I want to read it exactly. Where is it? What's your main way to source? And I took it a little further. I, I gave him my main way of sourcing, and then I told him what my favorite way of sourcing was. Um, main way of sourcing, honestly, for me right now, at this time of year, is a third garage sales, a third auctions, and a third thrift stores. But my favorite are auctions. I think I get the best bang for my buck at auctions. So what do you think? Justin, Your, yours is only 10. Lucky you. He has 15 just about anywhere here. 15%. And I don't like it because <laughs> I forget about it sometimes. And sometimes I'll buy, you know, a couple hundred dollars worth of items. And then they tack that 15% on. And it's like, oh, ouch. I wasn't remembering that. Now I'm going to have to write the check for a little bit more than I was expecting. But it's all good. All good in the neighborhood. I'm cracking up, guys. Um, we just don't have a lot of estate sales here, but I do love them because you can find the weirdest crap at estate sales. <laughs> the funkiest, weirdest crap. And all kinds of great discontinued items. Those are always good sellers. But our estate, we have one local estate sale company and I don't mean to bad mouth them and I'm not going to give the name of it, but their pricing, I can't buy a thing from them. Can't buy a thing from them. I won't make a penny. They, I, I swear to God, they go out to eBay and get pricing before they price their items. <clears throat> Do you like doing the flea markets? Because I've been toying with doing one just to see how it goes. But I know it's a lot of work and I have a small car. So I would probably have to rent a pickup or something like that to take enough stuff to make it worthwhile. I haven't been to it. Honestly, I haven't been to a flea market in years. We have a local flea market, but it's not a flea market. It's a craft, craft show or a multi-level marketing show. It's a lot of vendors, you know, Pampered Chef, stuff like that. Pampered Chef and what's the Plexus and all of those multi-level marketing schemes. I'd like to go to an actual flea market sometime. Hopefully pick up some good things to resell. But. <clears throat> but no, um, overall, three items. Did you miss it? Oh, there's the bottle. Three items at the auction today. Three items in three hours. Not great. Not a great way to spend my time. But uh, it was fun. It was just exhausting. But but three items, three dollars eighty cents total. And listing price of $175. That's not too shabby. I outbid a friend of mine on that bottle. <laughs> he must have known it was Blanco. And he just was, oh, and I don't, I don't, almost broke it. He was too nice to bid against me after I bid against him. So that's why I got it so cheap. Because he looked at me like, <clears throat> <laughs> Drop the bottom on the owner 
for what doesn't sell to be able to sell it themselves. Oh, yeah, actually, I've thought about that. Um, the way that I understand, though, you got to you gotta understand, I live in a small town, so there are no secrets in this town. The way that I understand it, though, is this particular company doesn't do that. They throw everything away. I want to get with them and say, let me take your stuff that doesn't sell. And I will pay, you know, a certain percentage to you. It gives them a little bit more money and it gives me stock. I've thought about it. They just, uh, they don't have the um, computer skills to do it online, I really think. That's my opinion. I have not talked to them directly, so I shouldn't, I'm, I'm not trying to put words in their mouths. But I have thought about it. If I had the room to store that kind of thing. Yeah, I don't know where they're throwing it away. I wish I knew. <laughs> I also learned a valuable lesson with auctions, in-person auctions, at least here. Maybe I'm sure it's across the board. <clears throat> don't go to the, okay, like let's say we had our auction. They had their auction today, right? Saturday. You have until Monday to get everything out of the auction house so they can start setting up for the new auction. Don't go there on a Monday. I went about a month ago, I had bought um, a bunch of DVDs at an auction. And when I went through the DVDs, some were personal, not, not racy, um, but like family reunion and wedding anniversary recordings. And I was like, Oh, no, 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 I don't want those. And I'm sure the family wants them. So I went back on Monday to give them back to the auctioneer so he could give them back to the family. And they were in there and everything that had not sold, because if he can't get anything for it, he gives his own number and then it just gets shoved under the tables. Everything in there was being thrown into dumpsters or into trash cans and shattered. And I was just like, oh, I almost had a panic attack. <laughs> I was like, oh, I want that stuff. <laughs> of course, he wouldn't give it to me. He'd rather throw it away than give it to somebody. But oh, I got one piece. I snuck it out. His coworker handed it to me slyly. <laughs> he said, take it, run. But yeah, it's like the sickening feeling at a Goodwill when you can hear him in the back room smashing all the glassware. I can't stand it. It ramps up my anxiety, something fierce. So wasteful, but I understand what are they going to do with it? And it takes up a lot less space when it's broken, but. Oh. Yeah, I, I get that, Justin. And that's, that's why I'm saying, you know, th these are estate auctions that I'm going to. And yeah, I mean, I, I bought three items today that totaled $3 and 80 cents with tax. And I've got them list, not listed, but they're in my drafts now for a total value of $175. Yeah, okay, no problem. But like I was telling them, I don't know when you walked in or when you walked in, <laughs> when you came in chat, but like this wooden vase, hand carved, hand turned, um, I got for 50 cents at the auction. But if I were to see this at Goodwill, it would be $7.99 or more. Probably more. I know it would not be less than $7.99. So what's going to give me the best return for my money? An auction or Goodwill? An auction. So that's why it's my preferred way of doing it. I don't like having to spend all day at the in-person auctions. But sometimes you have to. And like today, I didn't. I didn't even go until 2 p.m. and it started at 10 a.m. So yeah. Yeah, it's good ROI if I can sell these items. <laughs> no guarantee I will. And I, I start things high and I, I'll lower them down. So, but you know, four times, four times my investment is my bare minimum that I want to make. That's only $16. I think that'll be pretty easy. Um, I try for 10 times. That's my goal is to buy something that I can get a 10 time return on. Yeah, well, if, if mine did 99 cent days, I would do the same thing, but they don't. The most we get is they have color of the week. 
and those colors are half price that week. But it's almost impossible to find anything with those colors because everything sun they op they started on Sunday at 1 p.m. and you should see the stampede for our goodwill it's su on Sunday at 1 p.m. Everybody in there to get that color that they know is half price. And that's the only discount we get. Well, we get we have a and I know every goodwill is different. It depends on the region you're in. There it is. We have these goodwill style seekers cards and they give us 10% off of everything which is basically our state tax state and federal tax um so basically it's like getting everything tax free um and then on wednesdays you get double so you get 20% off on wednesdays that's really about it i went to goodwill this afternoon after i left the um auction because i had to stop at dollar general which was right next door and I just went in there after Dollar General just for the look around. I didn't buy a single thing. Most of the time now when I go to my local Goodwill, I don't buy a single thing. Or if I buy anything, it's coffee mugs because they're 49 cents a piece. But everything else has been jacked up so high that I can't make anything off of it. Which, that's their deal. It's, you know, they're not open for resellers. That's not their point. So... It is what it is, but I'm not going to go in there and buy something knowing I can't make any money off of it because their prices are so high. Unless it's something I want personally, which I don't know if you guys as resellers have this issue, but I've noticed I can't shop for myself anymore. Everything I look at, I put back. If, it's, if I know it's for me, I'm like, nah, I don't need that. But if it's something I can sell, oh yeah, I'll buy that. <laughs> I have a very hard time buying for myself anymore. Justin, our Goodwills were only closed for about two months. Um, two or three months, something like that. First, you know, the middle of um, 2020, about the, all they were closed. And then they started reopening. You, of course, had to wear masks all the time. And they were only open a few hours a day. And boy, at least... It, this one was the only one that I went to, the one in town, because I wasn't going to drive to a metropolitan city in the height of COVID, um, because their numbers up there were so much higher than down here. But um, they were on the ball. They were cleaning all of the, the carts, buggies, whatever you want to call them, wherever you're from. Just as soon as people were walking out the door, they were scrubbing down those carts and they were doing a dang good job. I was, I was very proud of them. And they were one of the few stores in this town that enforced the mask rule. They would not let you in if you didn't have a mask. Other stores were like, you, you've got to wear a mask. Oh, I've got a health condition. Oh, well, okay, come on in. So. Goodwill's the only local thrift store of there is another one but it's so small it's hard to find anything there it, goodwill's our only really big really decent sized um thrift store here in town yeah and i get that and i i'm the same way i i mean like i said i went today but it was because i was already next door and i thought i'll just go see what's going on i didn't buy anything i don't go in there nearly like I used to, or nearly like I do in the wintertime when there aren't any estate sales or garage sales. So, Yes, he does think he's Mr. Nordstrom. I have a number of issues with Goodwill, morally, but uh, that's not for this place, not, not for here to talk about, but... I will still visit them because, like I said, that's the only choice I really have for a thrift store around here. But I, if, if there was a Salvation Army, if there was a um, disabled veterans store, if there was even a um, Habitat for Humanity store around here, I would go to them so many more times, more often than Goodwill. But I don't have any choice locally. And I, if I had like a St. Vinny's, St. Vincent's de Paul, St. Saint Vincent de Paul or anything like that, but there's just nothing like that here. If I was still in Illinois, I'd have all of those choices. 
Our other thrift stores are priced for people that don't resell. So it's rare we vis visit them. See, that's the thing around here. I'm not, not here, not in my hometown, but in like Wichita, which is the biggest metropolitan city close to us. And it's an hour away. In Wichita, Goodwill is the highest priced one. All of the others, St. Vinny's, uh, Salvation Army, the little independent church run ones, those are all less expensive than Goodwill. So I think it's Kansas Goodwills that are just outrageously priced. I mean, I, I hear it from other people in other regions and that they say that their prices have gone up too, but I really think, I really think from what I've been able to glean from other resellers that the Kansas, good, the Goodwills, Goodwills of Kansas, I think is what it's called. They're just, they're really bad. Greedy. This was not meant to be a Goodwill bashing video. So I will end that part of it here. <laughs> That's not at all what I want. I don't want to be a complainer about Goodwill because they, they provide a service. I just, I think sometimes their um, focus is a little skewed. So anyhow, nine o'clock. How did it become nine o'clock? I have not been talking for two hours. I have been talking for two hours. Let's see. What did I do? I showed you my store. The first two pages of my store. So the first hundred items or so. Um, I listed or I drafted one, two, three, four, five, five items. Had two already. Uh, did an awful lot of talking. We talked about Squishmallows, but I still didn't get any answers. Y'all failed me on that. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> but um, it's only seven. Marie, Marie, hi, when did you come in? <laughs> I think I was just glancing at the chat a little bit ago, and I thought when I saw, saw your last name, I thought it was still Justin typing there, but I see now you were talking about 99 Cent Day. I'm sorry. I didn't see you or I would have said hi. The Squishmallow Quest. Okay, Cameron. You're back. Welcome back. This is the Squishmallow question or conundrum. The Squishmallow conundrum. I got this cute little fella today at a garage sale for free. He's a Squishmallow. Maybe. I think he's a fake. Okay, and I say that because the tags don't match what the internet is telling me the tags should match, should say. So I think he's fake. But the problem is uh, that he's being sold on Walmart as a Squishmallow. I don't want to list him on eBay if he's fake because I don't want to risk getting my store shut down. But if he's not fake, I want to ask the right price for him. So I'm trying to find somebody who knows more about Squishmallows than I do. Because I don't want to risk it. Yeah, the thing is, Squishmallows, and I always forget the name of the company. Hang on, I've got it here somewhere. Squishmallows are made by Kelly Toy. Kelly Toy. But this one says Inter-American Products. It doesn't say Kelly toy. It looks real. It feels real. It's uh, looking at the fakes, the descriptions of the fakes and stuff. They talk about it being not squishy. He's squishy as all get out. He is soft and huggable and I'm falling in love with him the more I play with him. So I got to put him down. There's not a mark on him. He's clean. But the fact that it doesn't say Kelly Toy, I've been trying to figure out if there's a tie between Inner American Products and Kelly Toy. But I can't find anything. But it says that they are one in the same. But the fact that Walmart, hang on, I think I've got that page. I do. Walmart shows it out of stock, but that's the exact same one. And I can't imagine Walmart selling a knockoff. I can't find any of this guy on eBay. 
I can find him on Macari, but I know Macari is not nearly as bad with B rows and, and selling counterfeits and things like that. So I could always put him on Macari and I probably will end up putting him on Macari, but I'm not sure what to list him as because he is out of stock on Walmart. He was a Valentine's Day promo. They sold him for 15, so I really think I can get more for him if he is legit and out of stock. But I just need to get on some groups and figure out, you know, put some feelers out there, see if I can find somebody who knows more about Squishmallows than I do. I was excited to find him because I've never found a Squishmallow in the wild. I still may have not found a actual Squishmallow in the, in the wild, but. But, and he was in a free box. Bonus. Well, he wasn't technically. Well, he was technically free. Woo. Okay, so I'm knocking stuff over. The guy told me he would give him to me for free if I bought this bottle opener. <laughs> so, I bought the bottle opener. There's one listed this on eBay. Really? I'm looking. See, I see the sitting up ones, but I don't see any. Is he a sold or listed? Because see, that's not him. Oh, really, Justin? I didn't know that. Interesting. Okay. That gives me some hope then. Justin, I'm not finding it. I'm not sorry, Justin. I'm Cameron. I'm not finding it. Thank you. Yeah, it won't let me. Am I going to have to go to my YouTube to actually click on the link? I hate that about... Uh, Streamyard. Hang on, we might get an echo while the before I get this muted. Come on, screen. You being slow. Mm. Okay. Well, sooner or later that'll come up. I'll keep looking here. Ugh, too many pages. Try stackable. Okay, fine. My internet is being a bear. Which one is? Oh, I just finally got it to load. I hate my internet. I hate my internet. Okay, forget it. I'll just, I'll bring it up on my phone. God, I hate my internet sometimes. Here I go cursing the inanimate objects again. Just, um, yeah, Justin. That was it, Justin. One of you guys was talking about that. Oh, no, that was um, Carter. Carter that we were talking about yelling at inanimate objects. Oh, there's the echo. Okay. Oh, my God. Well, you said try that one just as I clicked on the other one, so give me a second. Yeah, no, see, that, that first one is not him. So let me look at the second one. No, no, see, those are different. The one that you're showing me, here, hang on a second. Ooh, wrong button. The one that you're showing that you posted the links, he's more sit-up kind, like tall. This guy is a flat stackable. They call him stacking. They say that he's a stacking squishable, squishmallow. 
and I can't find any of those. That's why I'm a little confused. I can find all kinds of the sit-up kind, but not the squished, squished, yeah, squished down stacking ones. I don't know. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I, I, I can show you. No, did I kill that page? Yep, I did. Hang on. Let me... Macari. There we go. Okay. Macari. Squish. Oh, wow. It's lagging. Squishmallow. Hug. Oh, my God. Stop doing that. Squish mellow pug. Well, I'm going to probably have to end this soon because my internet is creeping. Creeping badly. I pay 70 bucks a month for this internet and this is the service I get and I'm getting very frustrated, but I have no other options. Really? Really? Oh, oh my God, this internet. Sunshine and lollipops, sunshine and lollipops, sunshine and lollipops. Oh, okay, guys, I give, I give, it's just, it's not loading. It's just not loading. Cameron, thanks for your help. I appreciate it. Guys, I am giving up on my internet because I don't even know if you guys can see me. I have no clue if you guys can see me or not, but... I'm frustrated with my internet, so, it's, and I've been on here two and a quarter hours, so hey, it's time to get off of here anyhow. Thank you all for joining me again this evening. Uh, like I said, I may not be on next week, next Saturday, or I may have a special guest. I don't know yet. We'll see, but I'll let you guys know. I'll send out a uh, reminder if I'm going to have a uh, live or not, but uh, appreciate you all stopping in and and uh, seeing the goodies that I bought today. I think I did all right. I'm pretty happy with what I bought. <coughs> and I'm going to start coughing again. Oh, my gosh. Anyhow, I hope you have a wonderful night. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And I hope you have a wonderful week ahead. Always hit me up in the, ch in the uh, comments if you just want to chat or anything. Um, I'm... Try to answer any questions you might have. Do not know everything, that is for sure. Do not want to know everything because my brain would go spouty. <laughs> you know, but I am here for you whenever you need. So until next time, be safe. We'll see you later. Bye.